Their target was an armed pickup truck connected to Islamic State. They locked on and deployed. The use of a brimstone missile showed power and precision. It was the second airstrike of the day. The RAF tornadoes then continued their reconnaissance, having just taken Britain to war. As evening drew in, they landed back in Cyprus. This mission over, job done. ISIL now occupy a large uh, portion of the territory of Iraq, which is why it is vital now, and there's an international effort to assist the Iraqi government, some 60 countries involved in helping the Iraqi army and the Kurdish forces to start to hold their ground and, and from then on to start pushing ISIL back. Uh, this uh, action today is, is part of that and shows the importance and the contribution that the RAF can make. This international effort is led by the Americans, who count their airstrikes in the hundreds. The RAF is a small cog in a much bigger war machine. Inside this base, it is very much business as usual. They will just get on with the job. But out across Cyprus, security levels have been raised. Having British airstrikes take off from here means this island becomes more of a target. The Royal Air Force, though, have a job to do. Their ground crew will continue checking and loading these missiles. The next mission could always lead to the next strike. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, RAF Akrotiri.